What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and I am with Coolball98. How are you doing? It's good to be here. Alright. So we're going to be doing our second episode of our awesome collaboration. It's the Battle Tree Collab series that we'll be doing. We're going to be doing three battles per episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the first one that we did. The link will be in the description. If you missed it, just click on the link and it'll take you straight to the first uh, battle video there. And we had a fun time in the last video. So hopefully this Oh time, yeah, we definitely did. Yeah, so hopefully this time around, this is going to be a whole lot better. The whole concept of this is to be fun. I can have fun with it and try new Pokemon as we go forth. Because last time I used Garchomp and Ferrothorn. I'm going to change it up just a little bit. I'm going to be substituting Ferrothorn with my Venusaur, kind of the Omega. So we're going to go ahead and select Super Multi Battle Challenge. That's the one that we're going to be doing. And let's make sure that we do this correctly. I don't want to screw this up. So, <laughs> yeah. So while we're doing this, uh, what are you looking forward to doing? Just, this video? just to have fun. Yeah, that's the whole idea, man. That is the whole idea. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my Pokemon. My Pokemon are on the bottom screen. You can't really see it. But I'll show you right now. Uh, don't worry about the Snorlax. <laughs> I'm only picking two Pokemon. And that is my Garchomp and Venusaur. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those two Pokemon right now. I'm sorry Snorlax, you're not strong enough to participate. Alright, let's go ahead and save our progress. And like I said... We're going to be doing three battles, and this time around, I think last time, the last video that we did for this, it was actually post commentary, but we're doing this live. Hopefully this is a lot better. The video itself is going to be longer. We apologize, but hopefully you can stick around for that. So, are you connecting right now? Looks yes. Like we're doing the best we can with that. So... There we go, we found our, um, our ally. I guess you could put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, I guess you could put it that way. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to communicate real quick and get started here. This is the first battle. I'm excited. Oh, I should also mention that uh, Kubal98, you have the same Pokemon. You have, uh, can you remind me what you have? Actually, I don't. I changed it. You changed it? Okay, so instead of the Arcanine and Ninetales, you have something different. I have Ninetales and another Pokemon. Okay, so we actually both swapped one Pokemon. And I guess, what is your second Pokemon that you... My second Pokemon is actually my starter, Incineroar. Incineroar, alright, that's actually not bad. So let's see how we do with that. And again, you know, I have Mega Venusaur, so we both have a starter Pokemon to boot. Okay, so here we go. This is the first battle. We're facing off against a regular Executor. And then we also see a Star Raptor. Garchomp and the Alolan Ninetales. Okay. I know that... Let's see here. I know for a fact that... You can target... I, I can... With my... Ice, I can target my ice moves. I can target both. So I'm, I'm going to be using Blizzard. That would be a good move on your part. In that case, I will. Let's see here. If you're going to go for that, you should be faster, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to. I'm going to use Rock Slide, uh, even though it's not going to be effective to Executor, but at the same time, you're going to. Okay, so I have faster. You're going to finish everything off with a blizzard, so hopefully you don't miss it. <laughs> and one of those Pokemon failed to hit, and that was Staraptor. That's fine. Unless Staraptor has Brave Bird. Never mind, he got flinched. <laughs> yeah, there's a chance of that happening. Okay, great. So we have two, uh, two flying type Pokemon. And I'm locked in on Rock Slide. My Garchomp is... Choice Scarf. And I believe you're holding the Never Melt Ice. Yes. Okay, so that means 
Blizzard is going to easily wipe out everything in one shot at this point. So you can go ahead and pick Blizzard if you can. That would be great. Okay. That would be great. So, Garchomp is faster, of course, because of the Choice Scarf. Okay, I knocked out Star Raptor for you, so hopefully this Pelipper goes down to the Blizzard. And then we'll see what my opponent brings in next. Alright, Blizzard! Yes, we take out Pelipper. Perfect. And now they're down to one Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, that's right, yeah. A Kento Marowak. Alright, this is different from the other Marowak that we are used to seeing. I'm going to switch out of here. Um, I know that Blizzard might KO the Marowak, assuming that it hits this time. I'm going to switch out of here, going to Venusaur. It's not going to probably do anything, but I am locking on Rock Slide. That's the downfall for being Choice Scarf. I'm actually not going to do Blizzard this turn. I'm actually going to do... Let's see. Freeze, Freeze dry. dry. Okay, yeah. Which should... Oh, nope, it doesn't look like it. I mean... I didn't finish. Ooh. Which oh. should make it... Scratch the red card. Yeah, I mean, if you went for Blizzard there, I think it would have KO'd the Marowak, but it's hard to tell, but... Yeah. Dang, that was a great play by my opponent there. Dang. Okay. Well, that happened. You got the red card, and you went into Incineroar by force, so that's... That's something there. Hmm. Okay. And I think this is going to be a wrap-up for the first battle. I got faster, which is great. Yeah, Mia Swords mm. faster than Incineroar for some reason. I feel like... I feel <laughs> like... Yeah, you know, it's funny because I feel like Incineroar seems... It seems faster when I look at him. But Looks can also be deceiving. So... It got me there. My... It got me there. I will tell you that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be approaching to our secondary battle. Seven minutes deep into this video, not too shabby. And I'm going to see what my opponent, or, or, or our, <laughs> it's not yes, just uh, mine. <laughs> yeah, we have two opponents to face, not just one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and do this thing. We're off to a good start here. So far, yeah. none have fainted, so. None have fainted. Well, actually, yeah, because I only, really only switched out. Yeah, that doesn't count as a faint. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are facing a Skeelix and Pinsir. I'm not sure if any of these Pokemon can Mega Evolve, maybe in later rounds, but we're, we'll find out eventually. Okay. I believe Pinsir can. Yes, I think Skeelix too. But I guess one of them should Mega Evolve. But again, we're not sure. So right now I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Where are you going to go for? I'm going to be going for Pinsir. So free shy on him? Something like that, yeah. Okay. In that case, I will, um... Oh, boy. I can't... You know what? I can't really target Skeelix, so I might want to switch out of here. I can't use Earthquake, because if I do that, I'm going to make you go down relatively easily. A oh, one nine tails is pretty frail, so I don't want to risk anything there. Yeah. Well, yeah. nine, nine tails be, isn't built for defense. That would be unfair. <laughs> so, Moonblast... Okay, Moonblast is going to do some damage. Ooh, Thrash. Okay, let's see how much this does. Alright, Stealth Rock. Ooh. That's going to hamper your Incineroar a little bit. That's fine. Alright, so we have Swords in here. I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for the... Let's see, Giga Drain is going to be neutral to everything. I'm going to see how much this is going to do to Skeelix. We're not seeing any of those Pokemon Mega Evolving except from my Venusaur, so that's good to see. Let's see what we do here. Blizzard, okay. Blizzard's going to do some damage to the Skeelix, which is great. Pinsir's going to go down. And... That... Then you use the Giga Drain, which... Yeah, that did a lot less than I thought. Well, it does... Nine Tails. Oh, you survived! <laughs> that is shocking. 
A scavalier. Okay. Okay. That's something that you could probably handle at this point. Well, you could actually mm-hmm. handle both of them if you want. Yeah, I could. I mean, I could do the Steelix just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and use Giga Grain again. It should KO. I go in for the blizzard. Okay, well, you helped me out a little bit. <laughs> yep. I was thinking you were going to switch out right there. Why didn't you switch? Didn't feel really like switching out at that time. Well, I mean, Megahorn. This should not KO because I'm a bulky Venusaur. Vampire is. Okay. Now I will switch out. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a good idea. Um, however, be careful, because we're not sure about Rampargos. Rampargos can go for rock-type moves. So keep an eye on... I'll put him in sleep, actually. Let me do that. That'll make it easier for you. Okay. Right. Keep an eye on yeah. Rampardos? Yeah, I'm going to put him to sleep. Hopefully this works. Pointed stones go into your body right there. Incineroar is not really going to... It didn't take that much damage, so it's fine. Um, Rampardos is asleep. That's good to see. Megahorn, this should not KO. I live with 20 HP. Okay. Great, I'm going to go for Synthesis here while you do the rest. You don't have Heat Wave or anything like that. But you can, you can totally finish off a Scout of Weird because it's good. Oh, yeah. It's doing a lot of damage to me. And I don't like it one bit. So, Venusaur is going for the synthesis. Fire Fang. Perfect. Which That's, should KO. Yeah. Four times effective. Why not? Unless it's Focus Sash, but it's not. <laughs> Luckily, it's not. Well, because we already hit it a few times before, so if it was at full HP and had a Focus Sash, that would be bad news bears. Okay, now we can go ahead and use Giga Drain on the Rampargos, and that will be the end of this match right here. Giga Drain, this should KO? Oh, nope. so close. So close. Luckily, though, mm-hmm. I'm going to be using a Z move. Ooh. Is this the. What type is it? Is it the Dark? Dark. Yeah, the Darkest Lariat move. I forgot what it's called. Let's see here. Been a while. That's why. Malicious, malicious m- yeah. moon. Malicious moon salt. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna say it together. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to, but we were <laughs> oh my goodness, that did a lot of damage. That is actually <laughs> overkill. Cause look how much HP. <laughs> look how much HP that that Marvis did. Oh my gosh, that is like severe. If I think that was a super effective attack and a critical hit. Ouch! I know. Isn't that insane? Ouch! I would not want to be that other person if that were the case. Oh my goodness! Luckily, luckily it was just a normal, um, a normal attack right there. Nothing too <laughs> crazy, but damn, that was crazy. That is like the highlight of this video right there. Heck yeah! Okay, it's this a is good it. thing that I have that. Oh my goodness, that was shocking. So this is our last battle for this video. But and luckily, like, there are more episodes to come, so don't worry. It looks like we're going up against two youngsters in this Two one. youngsters. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, you don't, you don't want to mess around with youngsters, especially in this particular um, <laughs> uh, yeah. format. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, because look at that. They have a Polycode and Pyroar. Nine Tails and Shark Bite. That's my Garchomp. I, nick- I nicknamed it. This is actually the same guard shop I got in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so... This Pokemon is, has been around for a while. Yes. Okay, so... Mm. I have a few options here. You can protect, and I can go for Earthquake and KO the Pyroar. It looks like the rain is up, so Politoed is going to do some damage. I'm not sure if it's going to use Ice Beam on me. What do you want to do here? Well, I'm... What did you go for? Well, it looks like I'm going to go for this turn into Protect because okay, I so do not for... want you Nine Tails have... to faint right away. Right, so you went for Protect? Yep. Alright, so that means I'm going to use Earthquake and then I will switch out. That way, you can stay in and 
do some damage to the public code. I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, depending on if it faints or not, I'll be able to. Pyroar's gone, so that's that's actually huge for you as well. Yeah, because You're of like... the fact that it's a fire tape. All right, let's see how much this does. Oh. Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to actually stay in and at this point in time. Okay, I will switch out then. And go into, because again, I'm choice scarf, so I can't, can, I can't really, otherwise you're going to go down. I'm faster than everyone else in this battlefield. Shark bite, come back here and go trooper the Venusaur. Again, this is mega, so I will try to mega evolve here. I use freeze dry, which chaos. I love it. That's great. Cool. We got rid of the Politoed. Take oh. some damage because of Pedal Dance. That did a lot more than I thought. Wow. Alright, and Kibimate isn't going to do anything to us with special attackers, not physical attackers. Okay. I, so, let's keep, let's, let's think about this for a minute. Um, at this point, I'm going to switch out. You're going to Incineroar. Okay, that's fine. Little Gint here. I have Sludge Bomb. Okay, that's, that's, that's actually really good. Perfect. We're in a good position right now. Incineroar. Be careful though because of the rain. Mm -hmm. it's, that fire type moves will not be very effective. I know. Well, it will be super effective, but it will be weaker in damage. So, okay, pedal games. Huh? That's wow against <laughs> me. Really? <laughs> yeah, you are damn confused. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I had to say that because it's like, yeah, it's really confusing. Why are you using Pedal Dance on a Venusaur? That is beyond confusing for yeah. everyone. <laughs> I would be confused. Yeah. But again, I think Pedal Dance is random, so. But the fact that it played out like that, like the fact that I got confused, it's just, that's hilarious. <laughs> I can't do anything, so I'm going to put you to sleep in a while. Here we go. But I can do something. Oh, I missed. It's okay. You can use my power to make up for it. And I think that's the last Pokemon that we're facing. And yeah, because of the rain, it's not going to do... Has the rain gotten up? That would be a KO. So, we are actually reaching to the end of this video here, so I'm going to try again. With the sleep powder, it's not going to do anything that would affect anything. It will not affect anything, that's, that's what I'm trying to say here. Because you know you can do it. Flame yep. Mm-hmm. Or another fire type move that I have. Fire Fang? Yep. Yeah, you could do either one of those. I think Flame Thrower would be fast, or it would be best for you to use Flame Thrower, I guess. It's your call. <laughs> so you can go ahead and pick whatever you want, and we can wrap it up here. That's twice in a row. What are you thinking, Venusaur? Come on. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you want to use Flamethrower? But it does... Well, it's the range fault, so don't worry about yep. it. I'm not wor worrying about it because it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, it is nothing to worry about. Okay, so we are reaching to the end game here. Oh boy, we have a quick claw activating. Can't what? Okay. Looks That's... like I'm going. Just... Ha! He should use it on me. <laughs> Cause I'm going for synthesis. <laughs> I, he went for the con on me. I wouldn't be able to use it. But no, he picked the wrong Pokemon. So. Darkest Varia is going to easily finish off my while, and there you have it. That's the end of this episode, guys. We managed to KO three Pokemon. Did I really just say that? KO three, three Pokemon trainer groups. <laughs> I'm trying to process that. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to KO three Pokemon trainers. Actually, <laughs> six Pokemon trainers, because that's Two each. Yeah. Three Man, groups. That, that three, not... three groups of two. Yeah. Alright, so that is going to be it. We're going to 
stop everything now at 7. Be on the lookout for a new episode soon. 7, 8, 9 will be in episode 3. If you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channels, China Connor and Kubal98. I'll have your channel in the description as well. And have a great day. You want to say goodbye to everyone now? See you all next time. All right, let's do it. See you later, Chris.